Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today I've got a speed build for you. We are in Strangerville and this world is absolutely beautiful. Um, I have built in this world a couple of times. I've played through the gameplay for this, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I wish there was a way, I know I've mentioned before, to turn off the gameplay, the story mode, so that you can actually live in this world. I do have a household that does live in Strangerville. It is part of my Sacred Garden Challenge, which is a really fun um, challenge. The um, founder, uh, one of the requirements is that they have to start in Strangerville, they have to do the military career and all of that stuff. So I'm on the second generation for that challenge but as I said this is a beautiful world um, I haven't built too much into it um, just like a couple of homes but we are in the uh, Shady Acres neighborhood and this is on a 40 by 30 so this is not the 40 by 30 that on um, oh goodness I forgot their names the one townie um, that's part of the welcome wagon Ted somebody I think that's his name Anyways, it's not his 40 by 30. This is the one that is kind of across from it. So um, when I decided that I wanted to build in this world, I knew I wanted to do kind of like an American Gothic Queen Anne style type home, which is kind of the homes that are already in this world. It's kind of like what they're designed, but also the build mode um, architecture um, like the windows and the doors and stuff, they kind of fall in line with that. Funny enough though, I didn't use any of that when I did my build. So um, I used probably every other pack. Um, a lot of base game, I think cats and dogs, but yes, I did not use any of the Stranger build, or Strangerville build items when I did my um, house here. But as I mentioned, we aren't we are on a 40 by 30. Now this house, I knew I wanted to do a very dark navy type blue color with gold accents, um, kind of like gold trim um, and windows and things like that. Now it was really hard to find something that was navy blue with um, siding. So I did end up using, I think it's um, one of, not the wallpaper, but the paint. Um, it's like the solid colors. I did use one of the darkest blues for that. Then I ended up using, it's not necessarily gold. I would say it's kind of a tan color. I feel like the lighting in Strangerville, but then also Oasis Springs, it makes it really difficult to tell what the true colors are of white and like off white and tan, just because of the way that the lighting works. So, um, I thought that it went really well with the house. Um, I really wish that there was a gold kind of trim that you could use, but I couldn't find it, but that's okay. I still like the way that this turned out. And so this house is five bedrooms and it is two and a half bathrooms. So there is a half bathroom downstairs and then there are two bathrooms upstairs. One of them um, is a direct connect with the master bedroom. Um, and there are also two access points upstairs to get upstairs. So I thought that that was pretty cool. I kind of followed along a floor plan that I did find on Pinterest. Um, I did change some of the things quite a bit um, as far as like the back end of the house goes and kind of like the side end of the house. But um, there, there are two staircases leading up so one out of the um living room and then also one from the kitchen so just kind of working on the upstairs floor plan here and um all five bedrooms are upstairs including the um main bathroom it's kind of at the back stairs um entrance the stairway and then also the master bathroom um there's no access like from the hallway or anything to get to it so you do have to go through the master bedroom to get to the bathroom but they are both full bathrooms um one has a shower and the other one has a bathtub because one of the rooms is for toddlers so when i was doing this floor plan so when you walk into the house 
there is a living room and then off to the left hand side there's kind of like a formal living room with a fireplace and then when you walk through the formal living room there is a study and then there is also a formal dining room and then there's the kitchen um the kitchen kind of has like a little um bar stool table with the um bar stools it's from the realm of magic pack and um and then there's the stairs upstairs so in the kitchen is where the half bathroom is and it's just a sink and a toilet um originally i was going to put it towards the back door but then when i was putting the cabinets up i did not like the layout of the kitchen so i removed the bathroom it would have been bigger with a shower but i did end up removing it um just so i had more space for the kitchen and the cabinets um, and then I went ahead and put it over by the stairs. So originally when I did this bathroom or when I did the house, um, I was going to use kind of like deep tones, like, like reds and stuff like that. But then I decided to go with the blue and I had kind of like that maple color wood. But then I ended up changing it and I made it a darker wood. So the floor in the house and then also the wallpaper the paneling I do end up changing it I believe I cut that out I cut quite a bit of this build out um, it was at 49 minutes and what had happened was is I was doing the build um, I did the landscaping so that I could um, make sure that um, when I lifted the house because I wanted to add a foundation that you know everything looks really good and I didn't have to change any of the rooms or anything like that but I didn't notice it until I think when I went to do the backyard that all of my landscaping disappeared so um and it's just the terrain paint so you'll see that I did start it here and I was gonna leave it in and then I I cut some of it out because I ended up having to go back and redo it and I did end up changing the way that I did do the terrain paint so it doesn't look the way that it does now um so you'll notice like some differences I don't know why that happens like I said I know I've mentioned it before it is just so frustrating because all I did was I think I just went I think I just stopped the recording and exited out of the game went and ran some errands and then I came back to finish the build and then I noticed um not when I was done with like the decorating and furnishing of the house it wasn't until I got outside but when I was playing back the video I noticed that the terrain paint was missing um when I was decorating the house so at one point in time when I entered back into the game, it had disappeared. So I do end up having to redo it. I don't change the landscaping. Um, I just have to go back in and redo the uh, terrain paint. So that's kind of where I cut it. So I have this area here. And again, like I said, it most of it, um, the, lands the landscaping stays the same. It's just the terrain paint changes um, because I didn't know how I had it before. And honestly, I wasn't really like digging it initially because I was trying to match the train paint with the paint that's in the world. And I was having a little bit of a, tr you know, troubles with it. Um, so I think when I redid it, I think it looks a lot better. So you guys let me know what you think. But in any case, so um, I really like the rocks that they have for the Strangerville pack. Those kind of like sets. And I wanted to use some individual rocks as well, but they didn't have the same tone to them. Um, and here you're just noticing that I did move some of that because I blocked off the entrance to the backyard. But I guess I could have left it and just removed the fence, but I wanted there to be kind of like a side entrance to the backyard. And in the backyard, um, I do end up putting um like a toddler slide uh the monkey bars there are two planters back there um and then there's the barbecue grill on the back porch and then there's kind of like a a little um picnic table with like the the cover and canopy type thing so here um i'm just decorating so this is the formal um 
formal living room. And I think this is where I stopped the recording because then I ended up in the kitchen. And then it's as I'm kind of like going through this, I noticed that my terrain paint um, had disappeared. But I didn't notice it until I played back the video. As you can see, like it's all gone. Um, as I said, I don't notice it until I go in to do the backyard. And as I mentioned, it is kind of frustrating, but what can you do? You just have to redo it. So um, as you saw, I did delete that bathroom there because I wanted to have, I wanted to have an island, but I didn't want to have like a super tiny kitchen. And so I do end up um, deleting the bathroom and I also end up changing like the cabinets and stuff. And I just put the sink over there. Um, which I kind of like it because it leaves the kitchen pretty open. Um, so I like the way that it turned out. Um, the island doesn't have any bar stools around it. And that's because I put kind of like that seating nook over there by the bay window. Or I guess it's not really called a bay window if it doesn't have like the bay window on it, I guess. But um, kind of like that little area over there with the, the windows that kind of jut out. Um, but when I did this house, I was thinking of a family. So um, it, there are five bedrooms upstairs, but the house sleeps up to seven or eight Sims. So there's a double in the master, and then there is a bedroom right next to it that also has a double. And then there are two bedrooms with um, single kid beds, and then there is one bedroom with two toddler beds in it. So um, when we go upstairs, you'll notice um, that each bedroom kind of has like a color theme, which I like doing most of the time, I like doing kind of like color themes to the bedrooms. Um, so like the master, I consider it kind of like the rose room. Um, the other bedroom that has a double is like the gold room. And then there's a purple room, the blue room. And then there is the uh, toddler bedroom, which is kind of like um, a pink blush rose type color. So um, this is the study. So in this study, it's kind of like a formal study. There's no computer. Um, or desk in here there's the fireplace so it's basically kind of like um reading so i put lots of stacks of books kind of throughout the house um especially downstairs because what i envisioned here is kind of like a teacher you know one parent is a teacher the other or a professor and then the other one could be in the military career or could be on um, something that requires just like a lot of studying um, like the Renaissance sim or um, somebody who like the um, what is it nerd brain I think it is um, one of those aspirations but just like a lot of knowledge so there's kind of books everywhere um, there is a TV in the living room and a video game and also a stereo but I figured that this family just likes to spend a lot of time working on like their education. There are a couple of skill building items in the house, like outside of like the, um, the stereo, you know, that kind of stuff. There is um, an easel in the, um, do I put it in this room? Or I either put it in the living room or I actually, I put it in the study. Um, it's behind the couch. So um, there's our easel. There's also a dartboard upstairs um, with the laundry room. I do put a laundry basket in the house. Um, it is over by the laundry facilities, uh, like the washer and dryer and stuff like that. So this is where I add the bathroom to it. And as I mentioned, um, it's just a half bath. Um, so there's just a toilet and a sink. And originally I was gonna change the accents in the bathroom to white, but I didn't wanna do that. I wanted to keep everything with the dark wood. Um, so I left it the way that it was. Um, it doesn't really match, but I think that's okay. I like it, cause it because it goes with the house. So. This is the formal dining room and um, as I mentioned, there is the formal dining room, the formal living room, 
and then uh, actually I guess it's kind of like a formal seating area so lots of um, space to entertain I figured that these people usually have like dinner parties because they're very involved like I said in education um, and so they kind of like converse or hang around with people who you know probably do like a lot of charity work and things like that so um, lots of space to entertain and as I mentioned a lot of it is just very um, very formal um, maybe the family comes from old money um, or like is into antiques or you know collectibles because a lot of the furniture that I use is like old wood um, don't think there's anything modern in this house which is surprisingly very um, I'm kind of proud of that because usually I use mostly kind of like modern furniture but I didn't do that this time so um there is also a thermostat in this house sometimes I put thermostats in the homes and sometimes I don't because I don't know who has seasons I think most people have seasons it's kind of like one of the staples for the game um, it's one of the packs that people usually have they usually have seasons or they'll usually have like um, what is it the um, cats and dogs like those two I feel like are steeples they're packs that almost everyone has I know a lot of people don't have a lot of expansion packs and that's okay you don't have to have every pack um but regardless um sometimes I put a thermostat in the house and sometimes I do not um especially if I'm using like a fireplace then I usually won't put a thermostat in the house but this time I did and there's also um the little umbrella holder and then sometimes I put the little decoration box in but then I don't because I always figure like oh those are one of the those are some of the things that people can add into the house um if they do have those packs and they do want to utilize them so um as you can see as I mentioned I put like the two planters and this is when I realized that all of my landscaping and as you can see it did I did change the terrain paint um unfortunately I don't think you see much of it in the build you might see it as I kind of cut out and cut in um but I like the way that it turned out much better than I had initially did so this is the master bedroom and to me I, kinda, I think I refer to this as the rose room um, when I was writing down my notes and so I knew I wanted to use the closets that came with get together and Initially, I put the closet in the middle and then I realized that I didn't have access on um, I even put the mirror there I moved the closet because I realized I didn't have room for the door and then I stuck the mirror there So I do end up moving the mirror I actually take that mirror out It's my favorite mirror, but I do end up taking it out and putting in a different mirror um, and I think that the, the um, curtains from Island Living actually went really well with this house. Um, I was having a really hard time and I think I cut quite a bit of that out just trying to decide on what kind of curtains I wanted to use. And it all started in the kitchen and um, then I decided that I wasn't going to put curtains over the sink or over, this, over by the stove and I ended up deciding on the Island Living curtains which I actually really like. And then I do use a couple of items from Eagle Lifestyle. I am absolutely loving the build and buy items um, that come with the pack. I haven't used the build items too much because I haven't built with that pack outside of the most recent house. And I do have like a container home in my build or my gameplay that I'm using, but it's not anything that I uploaded to the gallery because it's not really anything that fantastic. I'm trying to do a rags to riches challenge for the very first time, which I haven't really done. Um, I've done 100 baby challenge and stuff like that and legacy challenges where you start out with no money, but I haven't actually done like a rags to riches. And so the house is kind of like in transition and with that gameplay who was I watching I think I was watching Lady Lush and she was doing rags to riches and she um was it Lady Lush I think it was and whenever she it might might may even have been Tasha Monet Sims but anyway somebody I was watching was deducting money from the household 
whenever they went into create a sim to change their sims outfits or makeup and so i kind of was doing that um with this challenge like whenever i go into create a sim i deduct money from their funds even if i changed makeup so i would only want like 130 dollars, and so that would give me like two outfits and maybe like a new eyeshadow palette or you know something like that so um I kind of am playing a little bit more strict than I usually do by deducting funds and really following along with the rules. Um, I think I did the extreme um, play where they had to do like meet three or four goals before they could even build a house and all of that stuff. So I've had a lot of fun. So the purple bedroom, when I did that, um, I was thinking of a preteen for that bedroom and then this bedroom here I was thinking of a child so you'll notice that there are different items in each one of the room like the purple room doesn't have any toys in it it's got like a laptop and um you know like a dresser and, and all of that stuff so I was thinking preteen for that bedroom I was thinking child for this bedroom and then of course we've got like the toddler room um which I think is so cute um because I used the little canopy beds. I think I cut out the bathrooms too. I'm really sorry. I cut out the initial bathroom, the master bathroom, but I did leave this one in. They are different in that um, the layout is a little bit different and in the master, I do use the shower that matches the wallpaper or the tiling. This tiling is from Jungle Adventure, so I do use the shower that matches that. And you'll probably see it in some of the cutouts that I do, but I use these beds from Eco Lifestyle. I think they're so cute. So I use those and then I did use a little castle because I wanted to play on pink accents. Um, of course, this bedroom can be for any gender toddler. Um, and then I also put in a couple of toys um, in the bedroom. There's the, I think it's an activity table where the children build stuff on it but the toddlers can play with it I forgot what that's called so but that is in this bedroom I remember it took me forever to figure out how to use that because like whenever I would click on it and like it would never work and I because I thought it was for toddlers but then I found out that the children have to build something on it but the toddlers can play with it so I don't know if the children can play with it I know that they can build on it and I think they they get like skill points or something like that um, but I do put that in here and, um, I did downsize the, um, dollhouse. It works just fine when you downsize it. I've downsized them down to their smallest thing, um, like the smallest size and I've never had a problem with them playing with it. So it works. I believe everything works, um, in this house. If I remember correctly, I did play test everything. So, um, I know I've mentioned before that I always play test everything. So this is the other double bedroom and you could use it for a single sim or two sims if you guys want to have like some family members or grandparents living in the house. You definitely can. But when I was doing this bedroom, I was thinking of either a teen or a college student. So I kind of wanted to have each, um, each child stage in the house. Um, but of course, if you decide to do like um, grandparents or, you know, um, a child, a teen and toddlers and grandparents and parents, like you can. So um, in this bedroom here, I've got like a little seating area. I didn't put music in any of the rooms. I did put laptops in all of the kids' rooms just so that they could, um, you know, do their studies and stuff like that. Um, and then there's like the dining room table downstairs where they can do their homework and everything. Um, but I think other than that, that's pretty much what I did with the bedrooms. And as I said, I have been using those like little shelves from Eco Lifestyle. I do really like them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the hallways here. I put the chess table up there. Um, so there's a chess table and there's also the dartboard upstairs um, for skill building. And then downstairs you have like the art table or not the art table, the art easel. And then there's like the kids toy stuff outside. 
um, so that they can scale build as well. There's definitely room to add more stuff into this house. Um, I just try to put like each with with each house I just try to put like the basics and stuff like that and it drives me crazy that the swatches for the washer and dryers do not match I I don't know if it's the swatches that don't match or if it's a lighting issue I'm not really sure but it drives me bonkers that's why I changed them from blue because I just couldn't handle it anymore it was just driving me crazy so um I think outside of that um the only other thing I do is I do add some furniture to the front porch and it's just kind of like a little seating area um it matches the uh table that's in the backyard I hardly ever use those and I don't know why the prints on them are really pretty um, so I need to use them more often. I usually always, like I said, I usually always use modern stuff. So I always use the, I think it's a square canopy um, table. But this is where um, I do add in the um, little seating area up on the front porch. And I figured that, you know, they can do some entertaining. I meant to put like the little lemonade um, pitcher, but I forgot. So... Outside of that, we're going to go into some screenshots here. If you guys like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments or suggestions down below, and I will talk to you guys soon.